Here we've got a swarm of bees, just to give you an idea of scale. Here's my hand, right next to it. It's quite big. It's on a plum tree. If I step back, you can see it's just above head height, but that ladder should help. I've got various bits of kit with me. Uh, ventilated boxes, there's more than one because there's another swarm just over the way. Um, a goose feather, if I need to brush any into the box. A water spray, a can of propolis, which uh, might help scent the box. Some tape to seal the box with later. You can see that's one that's been used. I often have a bit of comb in the uh, boxes to help scent them and some secateurs to cut branches. I've been given permission to cut branches here. Just over here in this tree is another smaller swarm. I'm assuming that uh, these are casts from the same colony. The area is pretty open so there's some allotments there and um, over the road behind that hedge is just a field and over there is just a field so it's not clear where they've come from so I'll just suit up snip them and lower them gently into the biggest box right this is a box with a swarm of bees in it from the weight I know they're over on that side. You can see they've got a ventilation grill at the top and the front here. They've been cooling down in an, uh, a dark garage for about three hours since I captured them this afternoon. They were just hanging like uh, a perfectly reasonable swarm on a tree. I just snipped a branch and lowered the whole thing in one lump into the box. Quite a big swarm. I'm going to put them into one of the warray hives. We're going to put them into this one on the left. We've now got four hives, which kind of look similar to the bees. So we're beginning to hang identification decals on them to differentiate them as the bees come into land. I live in the yellow square. I live in this white cross. The um, bees can see edges they're not so good at distinguishing shapes. So the idea is they'll go in here. Now we've got some bees from some other hive just investigating. I've just hung this sheet here. In a minute I'll try and get the wrinkles out. But note that it's got various um, pins holding the sheet in place because one of the problems I've had in the past is the, uh, uh, the sheet falls off as the bees walk up. I'll put the box about here, open it, and let them walk up. The, one of the purposes of the white sheet is that um, they can see the contrast between the edge of the white and that nice, dark, safe-looking hole. So hopefully the queen will walk straight up there. may have to brush them out of the box. OK, we've got a swarm of bees come out of that box. I had to shake them out onto the sheet eventually. And um, they're trying to... Go to a safe place. Their instinct is to go up to a dark place. There is a, an entrance under there, but it's a bit blocked at the moment, so I'm going to have to uh, see if they can work out how to get in. I have seen a hive where this happened and basically the queen went in, they all tried to jam in at once, and then nobody could smell anything because there was just too many bodies in the way. There is a sort of general upward flow. You can see, say, follow one bee, and you can see that it's going up gradually which is a hopeful sign. Um, right, wait and see I guess. There were so many bees in this swarm they were jamming at the entrance so I've moved two of the bo I've moved the boxes forward so that the hive overhangs the landing pad so that they'll be able to go straight up and in. Uh, I just need to make sure it doesn't topple over actually because there's so many of them. What's by a kilo?